coverage this noon and we begin in Posey County with Aliyah Malero who's live with the latest. Aliyah. Well, that's exactly right, Claire. This is also a daytime tornado. So the amount of video that we saw of this tornado yesterday evening kind of kind of ripping through the Mount Vernon area was was really incredible to see. But one of the areas that did hit was here at this Ponderosa mobile home community here in Mount Vernon. And I'm just going to show you everything that we've been seeing. Obviously, behind me, we have this mobile home that has no walls no roof and it's just the remnants of a home where someone lived in and now it's uninhabitable and also into the right there's also another home that has no walls it's barely holding on um you know it, it's completely inhabitable as, as well but i want to keep showing you because we've been here throughout the morning kind of talking to community members and they have no electricity right now some people are fortunate enough to run off of generators but a lot of people don't have access to that at this moment but through here has been crazy Crazy. We actually spoke to someone who lives in this mobile home park who were telling us stories about people seeking shelter. In particular, there's a mobile home throughout here in the back that actually had a tree fall on their bathroom, uh, their bathroom area. That's where they were seeking shelter. And this massive tree pulled from the root, ended up falling right on top of them. And it was truly a scary experience. Now, so far, everyone says that everyone has been reported to be okay in this mobile home community, but they're merely escaping death. And, you know, we've been talking to people who live within this community, and, and they're saying that as they check the damage, they just couldn't believe their eyes. Now, so far, as we said, everyone was reported to be okay, but their homes are not. We did speak to a family who tells us they had no idea where to go after the storms. They had no electricity, and now they had damage to their home. They ended up sleeping in their car. Now, during the storm, many shoved themselves in bathrooms and laundry rooms that had trees fall on top of them, escaping death just barely. And even after the tornado ripped through the area, they said gusty winds that followed caused even more damage but the community here is still processing the fact that their community was destroyed never seen anything like this I've lived here my whole life never seen a tornado nothing ever this close to home and this is literally home so Now, the Red Cross has set up for people who have been displaced to go to the Mount Vernon Junior High School to try and seek any shelter. Now, while the mobile home park has been destroyed, they say that the community outreach has been amazing. They say a lot of people have been in and out of here just making sure they are okay. We did speak with the property manager that said they are expecting a lot of organizations to be out here later in the day coming to help pick up debris. And we're going to keep assessing the damage in this area throughout the day. So you want to tune in to 44 News at four, five, and six, as I'm going to have a full report on this today. Live in Mount Vernon, Aliyah Malero, 44 News.